My name is Evian Resgui. I'm 18 years old and I've been shooting film for about two years. For me, really, shooting film is about the process and I like, I like being involved in the process. Going through every step of the way and like choosing developer, like choosing film stock, choosing like what paper I choose to print off, I scan it, all those things. It's like you're making conscious decisions about this, the work you want to create and all of those decisions have a direct result on like what you produce. It's an involved process and it's something that you really have to put time and an effort into and, and you definitely get rewarded for that and the other thing really is just the di diversity that you get with shooting film like you, you don't with, with digital you have essentially just 35 millimeter cameras some crop sensor some full frame or whatever but with with film there's all these different formats and all these different cameras from from all throughout history from the birth of photography to, to now like all of these cameras that you have access to and you can use and all of these techniques and processes that just un and quality wise for example medium format is just just medium or large format it just blows 35 mil out of the water and it's just it's one of those it's just something that i don't know yeah it's cool yeah i, d I definitely think there's going to be a future in, in, in film because as long as there there are people who care about it there's going to be so it's supply and demand really like there's going to be so, uh, even if there's just one person on the planet making film like you know there's still going to be those people out there shooting it and at some point it will it will come back and i mean film has sort of died like when digital first started got started getting going but now it's you know it's pretty big and like i mean i don't think it might it might not ever be as big as it was just just by by virtue of the fact that digital now exists but but there are always going to be people who care about it and who love the process and you want to keep it alive so it's a yeah it's a similar comparison between you know film and digital or like mp3 and vinyl because it's you know with vinyl you get that vinyl crackle and with film you get the grain you get the nice grain and you you know it's organic it's chemistry there's there's no batteries required it's it's like pure like magic and chemistry and that that's what's really cool for me so f for me the reason i shoot black and white rather than color is just because it allows me that extra involvement in the process. Because a lot of people who shoot colour, they send it off to a lab and then you know you get the, the, the colours tweaked and scanned and people very rarely print from colour negatives onto, onto colour paper and it's, it's a much, much more difficult process but black and white is very accessible, that's the main thing. It's cheap and accessible and I like, I like the look and I, it simplifies things a lot. So for me if I shoot a gig and there's all of these horrible coloured lights, if I were to shoot color film you know you'd always have, it's just one more thing to think about all these it's just an extra complication that you can just get rid of by shooting black and white and just get sort of time a sort of timeless look because you know you could take a picture of something and have it in black and white and it could look like it was taken yesterday or look like it was taken like 70 years ago so